The moment he was cleared, Ben Stokes' only reaction was to turn to Ryan Alley, his co-accused and the man he'd knocked unconscious, and shake his hand. When he emerged from court, his wife at his side, if Stokes felt strong emotions, he was not giving anything away. It was only when others came under threat that Ben became physically engaged with the men in question. The steps that he took were solely aimed at ensuring the safety of himself or the others present. His intervention that night has already cost Ben the England vice captaincy, his place on an Ashes tour, and his place in a number of other England matches. Most of the confrontation that night was captured on a mobile phone. Stokes said he first got involved when he heard a gay couple he'd met earlier being abused. As the row escalated, he felt threatened and acted in self-defence. His night ended handcuffed in the back of a patrol car. An image far removed from what cricket fans are used to. Stokes had started drinking much earlier with England teammates at Embargo nightclub. He left here for another club before returning later, but was refused entry. The head doorman accused Stokes here in the white shoes of being abusive and also of mocking the gay couple he later protected, imitating their voices and actions. Stokes said the exchange was in good humour. They were joking about each other's clothing and at no time, he said, was it homophobic. Kai Barry and William O'Connor were the two men Stokes defended that night. They saw most of what happened, although were not called as witnesses at the trial. When I spoke to them some time after the incident, they told me it all began when Ryan Alley struck out. And then he came over and just literally hit me with the bottle. And then what happened? And then, obviously, Ben punched, well, ben punched him and then it turned into a ball. And we got a bit nervous. Well, we tried breaking up at first. And... Then we got a bit scared. I think it was a brave thing what he did. He put his job at risk to just save two gay people from the gay community. And I reckon it's really good for what he's done. And I'm very thankful. The fracas left Ryan Alley with a serious eye injury, filmed here by police the day after. Like Stokes, he was acquitted of a fray and was clearly grateful it was all finally over. That's all I wish to say at this time. I'm just happy it's all behind us. Ben Stokes left court for the final time, no doubt a very relieved man, but also well aware he has not answered the last question about that now infamous night in Bristol.